Hello, my name is Cole and I am 11 years old. At the beginning, I'll show you some pictures that you might know. Did you realize anything about these pictures? All of these pictures have some similarities. The answer is that all of these artworks were made in the Renaissance time. Before coming here, Trinidad and Tobago, I lived in a city in Italy called Milan. Even though I watched many famous pictures and sculptures, honestly, I was bored because I didn't understand the background of the artworks. But some artworks like The Last Supper are still in my memory. In this presentation, I will talk about the Renaissance. Before I will be talking about what Renaissance is, I'll first explain why it started. The main reason for this is the failure of the Crusades. The Crusades expedition, which began as a war with Islam, eventually failed, and the originator, Pope, lost his position. Also, the people who participated in the Crusades witnessed the world outside and became more distrustful of the church that they had believed. Against this background, the values of European people had changed. It changed from church-centered values to human-centered values that value individual, and this is the beginning of the Renaissance. Now that you know why Renaissance started, I will talk about what it is. Renaissance means rebirth in French, and the Renaissance movement began in Re Italy in the 14th century. This was a movement to rebirth the Greek-Roman culture, which liberated humanity to protect individuality from the church-centered culture. At that time, Italian cities were rich in commercial activities, and most famous family is Medici. They sponsored the artist and actively pro protected cultural activities. Next, I will explain about the artworks at that time. Sculptures and paintings were tied to the church, Christian church in the Middle Age, but sculptures and paintings were separated from religion and represented human beauty in the Renaissance. And these are some examples of the artworks. Last, I will talk about the astronomy in the Renaissance. The first theory was geocentrism. The theory is that the Earth is in the center of the universe and others are orbiting it. Geocentrism was widely supported in the medieval Christian world. The idea that this planet is in the center of the universe was convenient for those who worship Christianity. On the other hand, there was a completely different theory. That is heliocentrism. Heliocentrism claimed that the Earth and the others were around the Sun. Heliocentrism had already appeared since the Greek Hellenistic period. However, because of the appearance of geocentrism, heliocentrism was rejected since Christianity had power that time in Europe. But in the Renaissance time, some scientists like Nicholas Copernicus and Galileo Galilei proved that heliocentrism was correct. Yet, it was hard for all people to believe it, since they had believed that Christ geocentrism was correct for a long time. The picture in the left is Nicholas Copernicus, and the picture in the right is Galileo Galilei. In conclusion, Renaissance was a movement to rebirth Greek-Roman culture, which liberated humanity to protect individuality from the church-centered culture. In the Renaissance, many famous people, many famous artworks were made. In the astronomy, there were some scientists that proved heliocentrism. As I researched about this topic, I noticed that our freedom of expression that we have now was created because of the happenings in the past like Renaissance. So I will learn and grow to maintain freedom of expression to the next generation. Thank you.